Welcome to Sandwiches of History Vacation Edition. Our guest host today uh, was already a chopped champion, and he just recently won Supermarket Stakeout on the Food Network as well. Uh, he's the man behind Ruben's Indian Kitchen. Please welcome back for the second year in a row, Chef Ruben Donaudi. Hello, I'm Chef Ruben, as seen on Food Network's Chopped and Supermarket Stakeout. I'll be your guest host today on Sandwiches of History, and today I'll be making the chicken and egg sandwich from the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909. All right, to assemble this sandwich, you need one cup of chopped chicken, two egg yolks, cooked, hard-boiled, as one teaspoon of rich stock. I just got regular chicken stock that's been cooked down a little bit, and one teaspoon of melted butter. And basically, you just mix this until it's a paste. Once you get it to a paste like this, it says to put it between two slices of buttered white bread. In between two slices of buttered white bread, you put the paste down and you're gonna enjoy. All right, from the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909, it's the chicken and egg sandwich. Let's give it a go. All right, I have to say, this is a really good sandwich. My girlfriend behind the camera actually said it resembles a really rich chicken salad sandwich, which I have to agree with, but I do think we can plus this up. All right, so for my friends over at Brooklyn Deli, I'm gonna put in some roasted garlic achar. Basically, roasted garlic achar is like a fermented garlic uh, spread. They call it pickle, but it's not really like an American pickle, but I think this would go really well with the chicken and egg. I'm just gonna spread some of this right on here. All right, let's give this plussed up chicken and egg sandwich a go. Man, I have to say that garlic achar really brings it up another level. Kind of reminds me of something that my mom would make. Um, this roasted garlic achar was perfect with the chicken and the egg because the chicken and egg kind of has a little kind of not a, I don't want to say boring flavor, but kind of a baseline flavor where you can kind of plus it up with whatever you want. I would definitely recommend making this at home. Thank you for tuning in to Sandwiches of History.